All right, guys, welcome back to Art Spokes channel. Today, we are going to take a ride up to DFW to take a look at Iris Van Herpen's fashion. Yes, that's right. Remember how I told you art encompasses all our lives? Well, fashion is a part of our life too. And this is an artist who's at the Dallas Museum of Art right now and showing her fashion. Let's go take a ride. Iris Van Herpen, she has a show up right now and it's called Transforming Fashion at the Dallas Museum of Art. Experience the bold vision of one of today's most original fashion designers with 45 exquisite outfits from 15 collections in Iris Van Herpen's Transforming Fashion Show. That actually is taken directly from the Dallas Museum of Art's promotion for this show. Here's some more stuff about it. Van Herpen is Dutch. She was born in 1984, and she works at the nexus of fashion, design, technology, and science. With a dynamic and path-breaking body of work, she is widely heralded as pioneering a new voice in fashion. She is known for her willingness to experiment, exploring new fabrics created by manipulating iron fillings and resin, incorporating unexpected materials ranging from umbrellas to magnets, and pushing the boundaries of technology such as 3D printing in relation to fashion. Her work has been worn by style icons such as Lady Gaga, or Beyonce, and Bjork and has graced the runways of Amsterdam, London, and Paris. This exhibition documents the evolution of Van Herpen's couture through a selection of her collections from 2008 through 2015 and illustrates the many ways she continues to seek inspiration beyond the world of traditional handiwork and craftsmanship. So instead of a traditional dressmaker, her dresses, they're saying, have some sort of conceptual or emotional uh, investation, investation? Investment into her dresses or into, let's say, these works of art. Are they art? As you're looking at these, ask yourself that question. Was what I'm looking at art? All right, as we walk into the gallery, you're first encountered by this dress. It's an incredible visual right as you enter the gallery. Okay, she is a Dutch fashion designer. She studied fashion design starting in ice high school at Arnhem and interned at Alexander McQueen in London and Claudie Jongstra in Amsterdam. In 2007, she started her own label. Since July 2011, she is a guest member of the prestigious Paris Chambre Syndicate de la Haute Couture, which is part of the Fédération Française de la Couture. She participates in many international exhibitions and creates two collections roughly a year. Van Herpen had an intuitive appreciation of fashion and art as a youth. Her first passion was actually dance. She graduated in 2006 from the Fashion Design Department of ArtEZ. The department has a strong international reputation and lists notable graduates as Victor and Rolf, Alexander von Slurb, and Lucas Ossendriever. One year after graduating, Van Herpen launched her own fashion label. Van Herpen creates women's wear collections. Her designs are a unique treatment of material or the creation of completely new materials. For this reason, Van Herpen prefers interdisciplinary research and collaborations with other artists. From the beginning of her career, Van Herpen's talent has been singled out as very promising and it has grown strong over the years. Her work has been recognized through awards, exhibitions, publications, Van Herpen's fashion designs always express an interest in other art forms and a general curiosity of the world beyond fashion. 
Her collaborations during the research and making process are exemplary of this. As her, her innovative experiments and materials, techniques, and technologies. As an inspiring fashion designer at the Art Academy, Van Herpen learned to work with soft fabric. She quickly felt limited by fabric as she wanted to build, construct, and sculpt with the materials of which she created her designs. This forced her, already early on, to experiment with other materials and later on to develop materials that approached her concept the closest. Taking this into consideration, it is not surprising that sculptural is a term much used to describe her work. And indeed, the designs can function very well on their own as sculptures. As several exhibitions on her work have proven, yet the designs remain closed they are not wearable sculptures because there is another essential aspect to be taken into consideration. Van Herpen loves for the body to be in movement, and that's part of her clothes. When she, uh, um, when a model is actually walking in her clothes, you can actually see an interesting undulation of how she has orchestrated the fabric or material on the body. The design is only realized in equal interaction with the body. Movement is key. It is of decisive importance for the ultimate design of how a moving body reacts on a piece of clothing and vice versa. How a piece of clothing behaves when it is worn. Van Herpen's decision to explore the rapid prototyping technology of 3D printing allowed her to be the first to introduce this technology into fashion and to create astonishing designs with it. Because of Van Herpen's interest in multidisciplinary approaches to creation that goes beyond fashion, she has collaborated with artists from various disciplines, often on a very recurring basis. Conversely, Van Herpen's distinct aesthetic viewpoint has inspired collaborations with progressive musicians and actresses such as Bjork, for whose videos and tours Van Herpen has created several dresses, Tilda Swinton, Gwendolyn Christie, and Grimes, other people she's worked with. Her special projects included dressing the actress Scarlett Johansson in the film Lucy and dressing Beyonce for her mind video. As a former ballet practicer herself, Van Herpen also created costumes for the Paris Opera and the New York City Ballet. Within the gallery space, we view all of these pieces adorning mannequins, which are not quite identical, but nearly so. A few subtle shifts between the curve of one lip and another, the eyebrow of one slightly higher, etc. They are same in terms of height and size, unwigged and practically genderless. They're unassuming and innocuous and bring seemingly nothing to the table until we see the images of these works of art without them. And we realize that what the mannequins provide is in fact massive because they're keeping us aware subconsciously as they may be that these works are not meant to stand alone. They are meant to be worn by people. This understanding makes us examine what we regard to be the relationship between fashion and art. Is a given piece less significant as art because it is additionally fashion? You gotta answer that question, I can't. Once it qualifies as art, is it fashion still? Or is it something more? The majority of works visible within the gallery are impractical, not particularly functional, not quite wearable art. So there you have it guys. Fashion and art is what we looked at today. Fashion or is it art or is it some weird mix of the two? Let's get out of here. All right guys, thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at another side of art, the fashion side of art, how fashion designers are creating works that try and metaphorically convey a message through fabric, through different materials that are to be worn on the body. All right, guys, till next week, I wish you all the best. Peace and love, my brothers and sisters, and keep on keeping on.